So last video, we gave ourselves some reasonable confidence, or I gave myself some reasonable confidence that these macros are working correctly as expected. And we wrote this data check and temp hash test functions. Now we could remove those, but we'll actually leave them in for now and remove them later on, because believe me, things go wrong with this. And it's always useful to have the checking functions in there in case we need them. What we can do in vice.c though, is just comment out the temp hash test and the exit here. Otherwise the program's not going to run as expected later on. So what we want to do now then is jump into defs.h and where we have the s hash entry, so the uh, hash table entry, we want to add a couple of new things into there. So we're going to add a u64 and I'll call this smp underscore data and then laziness abound, copy that, paste that and call that one smp key. So this one is going to be the key that we store, which will be the position key XOR with the data. And this one is then going to be the data. Next then we'll drop into PV table and somewhere we have the clear hash table. So what we need to do here obviously is we need to make sure that we reset the values that we've just created to uh, zero as well, otherwise there'll be a problem. So we'll say this one is zero ULL and also again, laziness, copy that and put the SMP key also to be zero ULL. Now it's giving me a red underline there. Let me check the defs.h. What have I done wrong here? Absolutely nothing, it seems. So I'm going to close those files and see if VS Code can catch back up with this. Open it again. Okay, we've gone green and open up PV table. Okay, the red lines have disappeared. That was worrying for a moment. Now what I'd like to do is write some code to actually store this information using the macros that we've written. Before we do that though, let's write a function that we can call during the storing and also the retrieval process to actually verify that what we're storing is correct and uh, what we've retrieved is correct. So again, it's a similar thing to what we did up here with this uh, testing here where we visually did it. Now we're going to do a similar thing, but automatically. So below temp hash test, what I'm going to do is create some space here and then we'll write a new function. So that will be void verify entry SMP taking in a pointer to a hash entry. So the first thing we'll do is get our folded data. So we'll say the U64 data is equal to fold data and then entry score, entry depth, entry flags and entry move. What we'll do then is create the SMP key. So we'll say that U64 key is equal to and then we want the entry pos key and we want to XOR that with the data. So the first check we can make here is we can say that if the data is not equal to the entry SMP data, then we can print F data error and we'll exit the program straight away. And let's make a duplication of that line. And this time what we'll check is the key. So we'll say that if the key is not equal to the SMP uh, key, then also here what we'll do, we'll say SMP key error as well and just exit the program straight away. So just to reiterate what's going on here, because it can start getting a little bit confusing. If we've got a hash entry in the hash table, we should be able to create our data from the information in the hash table. And what we should be able to do then is take the position key in there and XOR that with the data. And that should be equal to the SMP key. So this really is a sanity check that the keys and data are correct. Now you might be saying to yourself, why have we got this information in here if we're storing the data inside the hash entry? Why have we still got this information here? And this is a correct question. It's duplicated information. However, we're going to leave this information in here for now and remove it later on when we're satisfied that everything is working. So now we've made that first check, what I want to do is get hold of the information for the individual bits. So I'm going to say that int move is equal to extract move data. Copy this down a couple of times. You probably know what's coming here. So I'm going to say flag is equal to uh, extract flag. And I'm going to say then that score is equal to extract score. And now some more laziness. I'm going to take this line from up here and we can do some checks here as well. So we can say that if the move is not equal to the entry move, then we've got a move error. And we can say that if the flag is not equal to the entry, and I think it's flags, isn't it, in the entry yet, then we'll say that we've got a flags error. And finally, we can say that if the score is not equal to the entry score, then we know that we've got a score error. And I've just realized by looking at that, I've actually forgotten the depth as well, haven't I? So I can put the depth on here as well, and then we'll extract the depth. And then we can add another one down here, and we can add in the depth as well. So what we're going to do then is use this function to verify the entries in our hash table when we do the probing and also the storing. Okay, so the first thing we'll look at is the storing of the hash entry. So let's drop all the way down to store hash entry. Okay, and here is the part where we're actually storing the hash entry. So what we'll do is we'll create our data. So I'll say uh, u64 SMP data. So that's the data. And that's going to be our fold data macro. And then we'll have our score depth flags and move. What we need then is to create the key. So we'll say U64 SMP key is equal to our position, position key XORD with the data. And now we can store this. So I'll copy this line here and then we can say that the SMP data is equal to the SMP data. And then we can say the SMP key is equal to the SMP key. 
Lastly, what I want to do then is use our verify entry SMP here just to send in an entry. So I'll put an at sign there so that we're actually sending in a pointer to it rather than it itself. Saving that then, I'm going to jump into UCI.C. I want to check what's actually behind the run command. Here it is. Okay, so we set up the start position and I've got go depth nine. Now I've been playing about, so you might have something slightly different. You might have infinite or 10. I'm going to change that to 10 actually. Save that. And what I'd like to do now is compile the program, run the program, and see if we get any issues with our verification of the entry that we've stored inside here. Hopefully everything is okay. So into the console then, I'm going to run make and cross fingers and toes. Okay, good, it made, that's all right then. So let's try it running vice, typing UCI and now run. And we're not getting any verification errors, uh, which is really, really good news. I'm going to type run again here and we're still not getting any verification errors, which is good. I'm going to type it again and we're not getting any errors. Let's type uh, UCI, where are we? New game. And I just want to check that the hash is actually clearing itself properly. So let's type uh, run again. Okay, that looks really good. We haven't had any errors. So I can quit that advice and also clear the screen. So we're definitely okay with how we're storing the information. What we need to do now is make sure that we retrieve the information correctly as well. So let's scroll up to probe hash entry. Where are we? We're here. Good. Okay then. So here's where we actually find our match. Our position key is matching. So that's our entry in the hash table. And here's where we can do some verification that the information that we want to extract is actually correct. So I'll say U64, uh, let's just call it test key is equal to, and then what we want to do is we want to take our entry here and we want to take the position key and we want to XOR this position key then with the SMP data that's actually inside there. So we'll take that and put that in here and it's called SMP data. Now, if things are working correctly, XORing our position key and XORing that with the data should mean that this test key is equal to the SMP key inside here. So we can write, if the test key is not equal to the SMP key, then we'll print error test key. Now, assuming that is correct, what we can do then is we can do our data verification. So I'll drop in the, uh, the entry there and we can send that in and run our verification function also when we're probing to make sure that we can validate the information that we've stored inside the hash table. So jumping back over into the console, I'll recompile the program. And this time we've got a warning because I've put print instead of print F. So let's go back into the code. Well, how did I manage that? Okay, then print F, save back into the console. Okay, I'll clear the screen and run uh, Minji W make. We're making okay, which is good. We'll run Vice, we'll type UCI and run. Okay, and we're not getting any errors here, which looks really, really good. Okay then, so that actually, in my opinion, is the most complicated and dangerous part of the whole implementation of the lazy SMP. And that is setting the entries up in the hash table without any errors inside them. Because later on, if you've got subtle errors in there, debugging hash tables is a nightmare. And when you're doing it with parallel threads, it's a real nightmare. There is one other tiny little thing I want to do that I've noticed the entire time of running this. I think when we run Vice in the console, it calls itself Vice 1.1. And I guess that's because the name in here somewhere is still Vice 1.1 in the code. I'm going to change that to 1.2. I don't know what the release number will be at the end of all this yet, but we'll make it slightly different in there anyway, so that at least it's called Vice 1.2. Okay, so the hash table is set up. What remains now is simply to create the threads to do the searching for us.